That's why he's not here. Yeah, I saw him today. Huh? No, Ohio. He's in Ohio. Yes, sir. I just sent him, sent him some money. What's it? I give to All rise. <clears throat> Superior Court of Fort County now in session. Honorable Chief Judge Eric Lambert presiding. Court come to order. All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated. Honorable Chief Judge Eric Lambert presiding. All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated. Thank you, Sir Ingram. <clears throat> all right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back on the record in the matter of the state of Georgia versus Cleef Adams et al. in 22 SC 183572. Uh, let's see, Mr. Mr. Stilwell and Mr. Sharp. Good afternoon. All right. Mr. Williams, Mr. Steele, Mr. Adams, and Ms. Renard. Good afternoon. All right, Mr. Kendrick and Mr. Weinstein, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah. Mr. Huey, Mr. Matthews Jr. and Sr., good afternoon. Yes. All right, um, Mr. Nichols, Mr. Harvey, good afternoon. All right, Mr. Ryan and Ms. D. Williams, good afternoon. Okay, Mr. Smith and Brown, good afternoon. Uh, Ms. Hilton. Mr. Atkins and Ms. Love, good afternoon. Good afternoon. 
in heart. All right. Anything I need to take up before Mr. Bean comes in? No. Okay. Anybody else? All right. Can we bring Mr. Bean in, please? All right, sir, someone on jurors, please. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Thank you, Sergeant Ingram. Ladies and gentlemen, jury, good afternoon. Yeah. All right, Mr. Bean, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, young. All right, you still on the road, sir? All right, um, sir. Mr. Steele. Your Honor, good afternoon. Um, with the state's permission or assistance and the court's permission, Your Honor, I believe that we are playing state's exhibit number 176. Thank you. Thank you. 176 CA. And I believe we stop, Your Honor. I have 120 24. It'd be 120.23, sir. May we play that exhibit? You may. Only ran the cop's vehicle trying to leave. Did you know you hit it? You did not know you hit the cop vehicle. The cop bumped you. So is it fair to say they tried to block you in to stop you from leaving? Do you think that happened? I mean, I'm just asking. Yeah. And why didn't you stop? Did you know they were police? Come on, this everybody out there saying the police were trying to get you on the stop. Did you know those were police you were fleeing from? Uh, at the point of the time, sir, I didn't know because I did not see a, 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 a uniform cop. Who did you see in the car that pulled in front of your car? Y'all are nose to nose. I seen two females. Two females. I seen two females. That's all I seen. And you're running from two females, you? I'm getting, you worried about two? I'm getting out. Come on, keep player to player. Pimp, pimp. You know, I'm, I'm getting out. You think, you think that these females trying to hit a lick on you or something? I ain't say that. I'm saying. Did you think maybe they were cops? I'm thinking maybe when, they, when this car start right here, I don't know if they going to this bill on this bill. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. But you know you got, you, yeah, they trying to, you know they trying to stop you from leaving. You know that. Yes or no? I feel the bump. Do you think they're trying to stop you from leaving that scene? Where the gunfire was? I think that I'm going around the car that's still moving, and this car it just all of a sudden don't even see me. So you just hit me in You never saw a uniform cop? I ain't seen no police officer. Did you hear any commands? I ain't heard no freeze, get out, let me see, I ain't hear none of that. None of that, okay. I ain't heard no shots go off by no police officer. How many shots? And I don't want to interrupt you, you finish? You finish with that statement? How many shots did you hear? Did anybody in the car mention that was the police? Anybody? 
You got four people in the car. Fred, nobody. I ain't saying nobody. They don't swear, shout or nothing. Okay. 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 Um. You know, this is an interesting situation, man. Y'all, y'all went through that yard, hit all them tricycles and shit. Could have been kids on them bikes, man. Yeah, man I could have lost my own life. Oh my God, you could have. Every time. Y'all, y'all could have landed. There was a, y'all cleared a police car. There was a police car back under that wall. Y'all just missed it. They were just sitting there. They had nothing to do with that shit up on the hill. <laughs> they were just sitting there. Thank Jesus. Allah. The Dalai Lama, everybody's spiritual, y'all didn't land on that car. Then, you know, it would have been a, a different situation. It wasn't meant for you to, you know, catch that kind of weight, but, you know, I just, you seem like an older brother. Why you got involved with these young, and you say it to your wife over and over again when I'm listening to it. Why you get involved with these young motherfuckers, man? I mean, they don't have, they don't care about going down the road. They can't wait to get in there. That's my feeling. They can't wait. That's the same. I got a ring like that. They can't wait to get down there, man. You already know what this shit's about, how, what, what life's all about. You are in love. These young jokers only be in love with themselves and their homeboys. They'll never know how to love them. I know you don't bang. I know you don't bang. You're a family man. You got your kids in football. You're active in the school. I did my research on you. You good dude, but you know, and I appreciate your honesty about coming clean on this robbery, because it's a robbery. Y'all robbing somebody who I don't know much about this brother. Like, he's not supposed to get robbed, no matter what kind of joker he is. Uh, it's just, it's kind of messy. So, I'm going to let your wife know everything that's going on, if that's okay with you. If not, because I'm not done yet. I still got to go talk to them fools again. I hate to call them fools, but young people scare the fuck out of me. I mean, they just, these young boys in the street these days, they don't they don't care about a whole lot. And I, it just, it, it really bothers me. I you, man. I just want to give you my, my, my story. I know I bullshit around with my family a lot. You know what I mean? I bullshit around with the story a lot. You know what I mean? But I just want to make sure I told you pretty much everything. This, sound, this sounds like the truth. You're the driver. You And you really cleared something up for me, the thug. And I got to go out here and find a picture of this joker. Um, because it's important because, um, he, uh, I don't think he should get away with it if he was in the car. You're not making this up. <coughs> he was in the car. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let me, uh, yeah, I can't testify. I can't do none of that now. You know All right. You ain't got to testify. That's on you. I'm going to put me on blast. Fresh well, water. that's, that's not what I do. Uh, what I do is I'm trying to go slow and get all the information I need in relation to you, right? That's all I'm talking about. But the other people involved, I mean, it sounds to me like Thug got you all involved. And I know you're a grown man and everything, but he came down here with an easy way to make money, it sounds like. And it, it went, who knew the police were going to be there? Y'all scared to shit out the police too now. I don't think we don't get scared. We get scared too. We, we don't run the gunfire all happy about that shit. These cops ran toward what they heard was gunfire. They got to say the good citizens, the bad citizens, everything in between. They don't have a choice. They can't bitch out when it gets hot. That was a hot little scene. They stood up and stayed there. A lot of cops would have rolled the fuck out and reevaluated. Those three police officers, they were detectives. They Nobody went. Knew what, what, what. Nobody knew what was up, but y'all were just trying to go get somebody who you believed had cash. Nobody knew what was up with me, with me going to jail, telling my wife what went on. And I mean, was, was Fred happy about going to this thing or what? I mean, why did he go to this thing? I can't tell you about Fred. I mean, okay, what did he say anything? Because he had a chance to stay back at the trap. You no, know, Fred, when Fred was on, you know, he just coming home, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't, we're not robbers. You know what I mean? Yeah, the young boy did the rock. I couldn't tell you. I'm just saying, weird. Me, me, Fred. What would be the split in something like that? You go with these two little rookies. What's the split gonna be? They all get more or less or the same? It's gonna be split four ways. What? Mm -hmm. I mean, just based on what you know. I mean, you know, it's, they move whatever, man. You know what I mean? So 
I don't know. Towns ain't work in the street though. If the state moves, do they get more money than you? They get the same. Everybody in the club will probably, you know what I mean, spit out evenly. You know what I mean? Let me, let me ask you this. Somebody like Red, he didn't ever see you at all. How do you, what if word got back, you know, let's say everything went right, you got the money. Is this just Atlanta? Because everybody tells me, everybody takes turns robbing each other. Is that the truth? Yeah, they do that in the city, man. I don't know, I don't know it's been going on, and you've seen it over in the store. I've been the whole time and you've probably been seeing the person that robbed you. Nah, Have you? Or you know who they are? I'm gonna tell you that. Oh, you don't? I've been the wrong whole time. But but when the game first started, I know you were young. They just took my drugs or something like that. Yeah. It's all drug money. We, I mean, they selling me drugs. Mm -hmm. I mean, so you know, it, 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 you know, it, who, who's gonna call the cops and tell the cops that I just got run for drug money? You got people coming from North Carolina, all different types of states coming out here and getting took off. For their money and getting something back. And don't even report it. You know what I'm saying? And they got to go talk to their yeah. boss man and yeah, shit. Man. Like you say, this particular day right here, police was on the scene. DK get But why didn't you call it off? You weren't sure they were cops or what? You just weren't sure? I didn't even know what. But you on the tape, and you keep saying, let me wait. You're telling your people's on the phone. You know what I'm saying? You yeah, but you saw the tour. You know what I'm Who in the gate first? You or the tourists? The tourists was in the gate first. The tourists, I was behind. They followed behind somebody to get in because they didn't have no gate key either. I, I was behind the um, tourists. The tourists go in. So you never looked at them again once you saw them bodies in the car? I didn't go past the tourists, sir. So they went on ahead of you. They were gone. The tourists go straight back in the back. And then they, they, how long was it before the tourists showed back up in that scene with the gunfire happened? Let me tell you this. If he didn't start shooting and just robbed him straight up, the police would have never known what was up. They would never seen that shit. It was the gunfire. That's what made them come back. They would have went on. They would have gone in and knock on the door about some off-brand bullshit. That they were in there investigating a whole nother robbery that happened earlier that morning had nothing to do with y'all. Mm -hmm. And so if he had to fire that gun, it would have been a lick going there. Licks happened all around the he right, walk all day long. They would have got the money because he had a stack. A little more, a little less, but it was a stack. And it was in his pockets. And when you get the police report, you're going to see where the first officer that got DK while he's bleeding, because the money bloody as fuck. I got a picture of him. I got, I got, I got, I went, I'm going to pick him up now. Bloody fucking money for the hitting the legs, which I think happened in the car. Bloody fucking money. It's a stack. That's exactly what Ray had. He had already paid out whoever the fuck he was dealing with before. That money was gone. That all he had was, I guess, his he was about to go back in the house. He lived there. They down there saying he was robbing them. Was Red robbing y'all? Did he rob your car? Yes or no? No? Yes? No, Red robbed. Okay, because let me tell you something. It doesn't make sense I, I, to me. I, I used to go to Red Mom, man. Me and Red, we go way back, man. But check it out. I, 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 I can see Red right now, man. Red know straight up, man, that if, 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 if I knew that that was red, man, if that was dirty red, mm -hmm. then rock one never happened anyway. Okay. So, you know, well, the thing of it is like this. If I can see red, man. So you know which red it was. You heard. If I seen dirty red around, I told dirty red, then hey, dirty red. Oh, DK, you tripping, man. These are my people. These are my people. Okay. So you thought it was some other red that had that check? I didn't know the dude. Yes or no? You thought it was another red that had that check? Yes, sir. Okay. I know the dude my fault. And when I say that check, I mean the money. Yeah. Whatever, how much it was. No, that ain't, it's, it's, it's those who lick anyway. It ain't my leg. Okay. Uh, it's their intelligence. They they created the intelligence yeah. on this. They did the, they did the leg work on the lick. And they move, so they ain't got nothing on. Are they a gang? What gang are they? I don't know if you have a 15,000, a thousand, or 10,000. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what, what he got, but I know what, now knowing the person that I know who it was, I know these are my people, and I ain't gonna, I would never wrong my people. But do you know he lives there? Did you know Dirty Red lived there? He don't live there. Okay, because let me tell you something, let me, let me tell you something with, with DK. Little Diesel with the glasses in him or something. Now, he got something up there. He, he got a reason for being there. They probably keep the little weed up there. He sleep, he, it, 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 it could be the trap. I don't, I don't know, he'd be up there. You know, you know, just like some people might think you live down on Macon. You know, he live over there, but I you know, 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 but know, he be there. I know the moment that, I know where the man is. Well, what, I, what I'm saying is, 
Did he pull out on y'all and try to rob y'all is the question. No, sir. He, okay. He, he, All right, let me go see if I can find this picture of this boy with the, with the crazy hair. Look like a girl, I guess. So, so, so what? Give me, I'm going to answer all your questions. Let me, let me get this guy the picture. I didn't hear anybody. You said his name was Jeff, right? Yeah. Let me look up some. I'll be right back.
Your Honor, sir, there was a four-minute break. It's actually uh, longer. If there's no objection. Can we skip it? Is it um, 140.08 to stop it here? And it goes up to 158, according to my notes. 158? According to my notes. Any objection from the state? You concur? Your Honor, it's a 25-minute break, so we don't mind skipping it. Okay, all right. And the record will follow. Thank you. All right. I have I have one fifty eight. Listen now. One fifty eight. Is that right? Go to the end of the room. Yeah, this is two years ago. I gotta put these on. Yes, sir. Objection 
Yeah, I heard you calling me, man. I'm trying to get you on the thing. Hey, you. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. It goes right to my desk. It goes right to my desk. And based off this, get, oh, you gonna use the bathroom? Yes, sir. Okay, all right. We go right outside the door. You said young thug had crazy hair like a girl. Is this this kid is named Jeffrey Williams? That's the young thug you're talking about. All right, let me unhook you. And to go outside, they make me put handcuffs on you. So. Can you work your business with your hand goes on? Uh, I just got Actually, you know, I ain't gonna lie. I gotta at least put the ankle chains on you so you think it's funny. <laughs> like, they, they real funny about these. I'm gonna put it really loose. We're just walking two steps outside. You ain't gotta walk for them. I'm just spreading for them. Oh, God damn. Fuck me. All right, I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna take the whole thing off. Lift up. <sighs> And how long have you known Thug? You say he knew his daddy. I've been knowing his daddy since the football field for like a couple of years. He used to play football, skinny yeah, here? I, I know his uh, daddy from the front of uh, two years ago. All right, I got to put these on. No, no, let me put them on the front. Got a Roselle fan. Say it one more time. Got a Roselle fan, Rick some on Cleveland Avenue. Oh, that new one they built at the end of the road. Never been in there. Uh, I know, but see, I was over there in the 80s. It's, it's still new to me. I was over there back when uh, all that shit was hot. All right, it's right here. You good? It's all right. All right. All right. Hey, man, just trying to make it happen. to the DA's office on a certain assignment. No. I want to retire, man. I definitely want to go. Man, it's, it's incredible. Uh, I don't know. It's a different police department. It's just not what I remember, man. I don't remember this shit at all. That's true. Generation. I expect back in here. Alright, you got any questions for me about this thing? Because uh I understand you say you don't want to testify and all that. It ain't about all that. That's on you, you know. I'm sure based off what you said, the DA is going to come to you and say stuff to you. But uh, it's a serious crime. Let me tell you why. You got a situation where police officers interrupt an armed robbery in progress. Let's just pretend that Red or the guy in the silver car you follow, let's just say he is a bank. You go rob a bank, you wait outside. After, listen to me, listen to me. If you go in the bank and there's gunfire, I mean, and your partner stays outside, then you all leave together after that particular robbery, whether you get money or not. The one driving, the one sitting in the car, or the one that was back across town organizing that shit, are all guilty of the same thing. So the police officers, uh, in, based on what they told me, were in fear. And they thought, they didn't know who the victim was. They knew someone was being shot at, and that would be Red. Now, I don't know what his cooperation level is. I hadn't talked to him. I mean, I, I, I just, I don't know what, what's up. But I have to write it all up. I got to show the reason why so the situation happened. How am I sure it was something that happened Red? Well, what I'm saying is, I, he's been talked to. What I'm saying is, I can't go into that part of the investigation is what I meant to say. Um, that day, I didn't necessarily have a chance to run down things with him. I'm trying to find out exactly everything. My main concern was the people that were injured. You were injured. The other two guys were injured. I want to make sure you guys were healthy first. Uh, they told preliminary stories like you, Turner, a preliminary story. You pulled all three of uh, 
Um, Thug, well, Thug has to I'm be. I'm getting your real story, though. I mean, well, they're not going to, if, if they don't they, tell me about they, Thug. They ain't really come to tell you nothing else. They, well, they, they have, they though. They might want huh? But they have. They have said, they, they're saying that Red was robbing y'all. It doesn't make any sense if that's where he always is. Yeah. But look, if you have any questions, your wife has my cell phone number. And if you don't mind her knowing your business to that degree, uh, you can, can talk to her. I'll let you talk to her in the, maybe on the way back. But the um, um, thing of it is, this is an investigation where I got to understand why there was gunfire, why the police had to get involved with gunfire, because they believe you were going to run them over. You know, they, they were scared of the car. I ain't seen no police officer. So okay. I ain't seen no police officer. But I, me personally, me seeing the police, I would have stopped. You I, sure? Yeah, I would have stopped. I mean, if I'd have seen the police, you know, there was police in the bar, so I would have actually stopped. I ain't, I ain't, me. So who did you think? Who did you think it was blocking? I don't. Who did you think it was blocking you in? I don't want no trouble or nothing. You feel what I'm saying? Who do you Who do you think it was blocking you in? I'm thinking this is for the DK. You feel what I'm saying? Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? I oh, you thought it was the people he was the people he was robbing? Yeah, I'm thinking maybe. You know what I'm saying? We get right. coming out here. I ain't. I ain't, I ain't no nimble. Oh, okay. So you thinking the rap, the, the victims are retaliating? Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Okay. I ain't seen them. I seen blue suit. Shit, I'm stopping. Okay. Well, everybody, the witnesses from the park, like, like I said, the ones that looked through their windows saw the officers in full uniform to get out the car. Yeah, they, I don't know what they see. Okay. I can't, I can't, you didn't see him. I can't. I'm driving, so I can't tell you. Well, here, here's the thing. Here, here's the thing. Who's who's what's what? Here's the, let me let me tell you why I don't believe that, and I'm just keeping it real with you. The reason why I don't believe that, again with the tape, I'm not going to bring it back out. It's going to be in my report. Tell you exactly what you said. You said that when DK got out of the car and started shooting, started hopped out the car, started busting. Twelve backed up in the Taurus. Now I know who the fuck twelve is. You do too. Twelve well, backed up in no Taurus. Listen to me. You already told me the car backed up the Taurus. It backed. It came. Well, in front. well, whatever I'm saying, you you know it's the police because you called them twelve. Then you said twelve started shooting into the car. That's on the tape. You're talking to your wife and the other dude. Y'all talking, you saying 12 shooting, the police shooting. You even said, I listen to me, you even said, DK was shooting at 12. That's what I'm going to put up as evidence. So that right there, no, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Listen to me, listen to me. Bean, Bean, hold on, Bean. If you don't clear this up, if you don't clear this up, I'm going to present what I got in those jail conversations. And you're saying you knew it was the police because you're calling them 12. Everybody in the street know police is 12. This is what I'm telling my wife. You mean I understand everything I'm telling you? It makes sense to me. I done got hit by a police car. 12 is shooting to me. You see what I'm saying? Man, you knew it was 12 up there at the Summerdale Apartments because you call them 12. You're trying to get away from 12. Now, if you, that's the one thing you're going to hold on to, you can hold on to it. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I know it's 12 because the same time ran me over. You're not getting that far right now. That's how I know it's 12. For me to get in here and tell my wife no, who these folks is, you see what I'm saying? I didn't know these were these people at the time this was going on. So you saying the same car you saw in the parking lot that blocked you in eventually is a car that ran you over. Well, the one that was in near your car. You see what I'm trying to tell you. Stuff that I'm telling them, some of that's not true, some of it's not true. So when did you know it was the police after you got ran over? Uh, she hit me with the car. Now, I know damn, when I, when I see them, I see the car. I'm like, damn, this is police. Police just ran over the time. So this is the same police. So I can tell my wife when this is. All right. You see what I'm saying? Uh, from the right. beginning, from the beginning, <laughs> right. from the beginning, from me to you, mm -hmm. I can't tell you this is the police. Okay. Because I would have stopped for the police. All right. That makes sense what you, you say. That makes sense what you say. So that'll be up to whoever makes that decision what they believe. I'll put that down. You see what I'm saying? I'll put from that shit. From the beginning, I can't say this is twisted. Okay. But after, yeah, this is the same car that got me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can tell my wife it's the police. Okay. You see what I'm saying? No. Make, all right. That's your story. So let me let me get over here. You got you got another you got a hearing tomorrow about something. Which no, I don't want to talk about. I got it on next Thursday. Oh, okay. For this uh aggravated assault. That's right. 
I won't talk about that. I won't talk about that. Yeah, you already told me. What, 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 I'm, what I'm saying is that's, that's your other business. I don't want to get into that. I got nothing to do with anything other than what I asked you about. I feel like I've been straight up so with right you. now I'm charged with. Well, what it looks like to me. I'm still not charged with anything. I haven't charged anything yet. I'm going, I'm working this out. I'm going to sit down and look through what we did today. And I'll come up with my decision. I'm slow, man. I'm old with this shit. You know, I don't. Ain't no rush. So, so like I said, I don't want no rush, man. I want, I want, I want to get everybody in the truth. You know, but like you said, I'm, I'm, I'm one of the guys that was in the car. So whatever went on that day, I got to, you know, I mean, be a with whatever the fuck these niggas done did. So, take this one Why do y'all talk like that on those jail phones? Y'all know we listen. Why do y'all talk like that on those phones? So free. I mean, from the standard. I mean, it's really nothing to me, really. I mean, it's just a technical question. Okay. You know, I'm Stand up, I'm gonna put these behind you. I'm gonna leave off the shut ankle chains because you say they hurt you. I'm gonna tell her some shit and some shit I'm gonna make the lead make sure it up. You know what I mean? Maybe we need to get her involved in anything else. Maybe a little add on. You know what I'm saying? Who can a lot of this shit going on? Hold on, hold on, make sure I got it. You know what I mean? I feel you. You the, you the head of the household. You get to make that decision. You can't just take everything that I say towards my wife. Then. Okay, everything you say. That's well, what I'm also, like it's, the, say, it's the brother that you're well, is, What I'm saying is, it's the brother you're talking to on the phone. She called for you. She called somebody. You're telling him the story. That's my brother-in-law, Fred Lee. You're talking to Fred Lee. Okay. That's like my brother-in-law, my brother-in-law, Fred Lee. Which okay. is my sister's old man, O'Shawn. O'Shawn? Who's that? O'Shawn Lee Hood. Okay. We got all your stuff. Yes, I'm gonna get you back before that shift change, cause you know it gets crazy over there at the gym at that place now. All right, Fish, hold it tight, man. and say that, put my name in it and all that. Appreciate it. That's just no stone guy to live up to, you know what I mean? They young men with y'all. I mean, yeah, you know, like you know, it. it ain't shit for them to do something else, you know what I mean? And get, and get away with it. So what, you think they end up robbing you too? Nah, they just rob me too. Don't, don't, they, don't they have like some respect? <laughs> They're gonna change their whole life for ten, fifteen dollars. You know what I mean? So you know, they will. Yeah, you know, so I ain't. <laughs> wow, I don't roll. I don't support them, man. You know what I mean? They, all this shit just coming on to me. Have to start shit with my son. It's new. It's new. Everything coming on this year is new, man. So you know, shit happens. You know what I mean? And I, I, I know for sure that it, it, it's gonna be the last ride for me. You know what I mean? It's a last ride, you know what I mean? What's that, mate? Oh, me get my life together, you know what I mean? You know, I, I, I done already prayed. I already made my, my notion. Get my shit together. This shit coming, you know what I mean? It's clear, you. know what I said? Me and Rick, man, we family. I don't think he's going to be too happy with DK. I don't think so. But I'm saying that if DK's from that neighborhood, he don't even know. If DK's from that neighborhood, why would he take the chance on robbing without a mask on? No mask? They don't care. That's how they rock, man. They 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 know. Oh shit, they're gonna leave you the phone. They gonna put me on. Don't sit in the car, yeah. <laughs> Who's your cousin? Lady. Oh, Keith, okay. 
This is the, the, the detective. The one she met down there. The one that you met down at the, um, the other day at the place. Yeah, I'm gonna detail them did the little robbery thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't, I don't know. You might have to let we or somebody know what to. I don't know. I don't know my status as of right now. Uh huh. But. Nah. It ain't, it ain't none of that bullshit. She's never back with you, that Yeah, that's bullshit. Turn it down. It ain't none of that. Okay. It's all right. So, as a white guy, you don't know what's going on. Now, right now, right now, as, as he tell me that I'm a, what they call it, a accessory to a robber, right? Mm hmm. That I'm accessory to a robbery. If she has questions, she can call me later said, on tomorrow. Said, if you have questions, you can call him, call him later on to ask him. But well, he said I'm, I'm accessory to what, um, to, to, to dirty, dirty Red robbery from DK robbing him or whatever. But like I'm letting him know that me and Red, me and Dirty Red, we like family. You know what I mean? So you know what I mean? I don't know, I don't know what I mean. Him and DK got going on or whatever. But I didn't, I wasn't aware that that was the that that was the person that that was going. You know what I mean? That that was happening to. So you know what I mean? Yeah, so you know, I'm just, just some more shit, some more shit to add, some more stuff to add on to, to the world, I like guess. But you know, everything ain't gonna work out. Lord, Lord ain't gonna put nothing on me, I can't bail, baby, you know what I mean? It's all good, he ain't, he ain't, he ain't gonna put, he ain't gonna make nothing, he ain't gonna make nothing, put nothing on me, they gonna, they gonna, they gonna, they gonna take me up. Cause I know I know I ain't did nothing. You know what I, mean? I know what I do. I know my part. You know, this part is just being with the wrong people at the wrong time and making the wrong decisions. That's all. Oh, wow. But she can call me anytime. But he said you can call him at any time, and I'll call you when I get back to the jail. Anytime. Anytime. He said, you know, he, you don't have anything to do. Okay. And you working, but so you can call him anytime. It's fine. All right, you're about to pull up in there now. But I'm going to pull up at the jail. I just want to call you, let you know everything that was going on with you or whatever. So, I love you. All right. So I'm getting charged when I go back to jail. That, that's what's happening today. I gotta go back down and talk to these jokers at the, at the, in the hospital. They still in the hospital. And I gotta get out here and I find out what's up with Thug. And I'm gonna be straight up with you. You're the only one that puts Thug in the car. I didn't know who the fuck he was. Everybody think he's a woman. He cleared it up for me. He asked me who the fuck the female is. Who the fuck the female is. Like, you look like it. at all, y'all. You don't look like a little woman to me. If, you know, and, uh, you got on this wig, like I'm on the last wig. <laughs> that's what I. Oh, you you know, what I there, there. Once you get your hair braided and they spray that. Black stuff on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and you, I ain't, ain't asking no, 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 the slack part is not my department. You know, I turn it over to the DA. The same Because I can't make those decisions. I can't give any hope or benefit. Me and me and me free, we, all, we all not even be a part of it. Right. Like that really, you know what I mean? What I'm saying is, you understand, I can't give any hope of any kind of benefit. All I can do, turn over the truth. At this point, I believe you're like 99. I still think you knew that was the cop. That's just me. I believe you knew it was the police. You get the fuck on. I ain't catch no new case. I got this. I got that. This. But you know, that's cool. That's just what I think. Because I would never give my real name. They would have known that. Man, they just put your finger on the damn machine, man. That's all they do. They got it in the car. Uh -huh. I could. I'm going to tell you something, man. Right. I give my cousin's name all the time. They don't know. I, I trust you. If, if, if your name, Avery, if Avery your name, know, when I tell Avery Carter to call the metal, I'd have been at home by now. Listen to me. Fuck. Listen to me. Listen to me. We would have found out who you were. I'm saying, I don't know. never, I don't never take nobody's name. Yeah, Once they man. tell me a name, no, that day. See, I don't know how they do it on the street. The way I do it, I'm gonna know exactly who I'm talking to. But see, like Fred and them, they like, like, they like, they're not rich. They just hurt. They could have been at home by now. 
You see what I'm saying? Yeah. They wasn't shot. They had to go get that treatment. man home by now. If I gave them folks Avery called the Meadows name, I'd have been at home. Right. Now, I would have went to Grady, got these little bro rats and typed up. I'd have been at home by now. Yeah, I was stopping it at a. Uh, I lost it. Say again? It was stopped at 221.43, or maybe it needs to go back a little bit. Something happened with the. This year I They don't even know if DK's from that neighbor, why would he take the chance on rock? Your Honor, can we start at 221.08? You mean where? I'm saying, I don't never, I don't never take nobody's name. Yeah, Once they tell me a name, no, that day. See, I don't know how they do it on the street. The way I do it, I'm gonna know exactly who I'm talking to. But see, like Fred and them, they like, like they like they're not risk. They just hurt. They could have been at home by now. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. They wasn't shot. They had to go get they treatment. They could have been at home by now. If I gave them folks Avery called the Meadows name, I'd have been at home. Right. Now I would have went to Grady, got these little bro rats and typed up. I'd have been at home by now. Okay. So I'm not bullshitting by now. Right. You know I mean, I, 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 I gave my name off the rip. You know what I mean? I mm -hmm. ain't played with them from the beginning. Right. You know, I wanted to put this stuff, what I had going on behind me. Like I told my wife on the phone, if you heard me, baby, I want to get all this shit behind me. You said that? You know what it is. You said about a couple different things, you know. Um, but, uh, so, it's a simple lick. Feel, it's a simple, I, simple lick that went sideways. A lot of the shit, like, like, shit I tell them, I add on, exaggerated a little bit. I, you, I, mean, you, you, I mean, you know, I exaggerated a lot, really. You know what I'm saying? When you said little bit. But you didn't exaggerate about driving that car, which is uh -huh. the most important part. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, and uh, the white boy that lent you the car wasn't his to even lend. He should have did it. You know, the girl, of course, she wants somebody locked up and fucking her shit up. I said, well, you know, he linked him the car. It wasn't no theft. It was a lend. You know, even though what is the lend, the Mexican kid didn't say nothing about it. So the white kid just, he knows you. He trusted you that you bring it back. He tried to bring it back. I'm just glad you didn't run over no children. Whew. We still went out there. You hit some kids in their yard. You ran over all kinds of tricycles. They mad. You know, they ain't got no tricycle no more. That blue house, I know blue. That kid brother house. Man. Oh, can. <laughs> Damn, I've been in this shit too long. I know that. I'm glad I don't work that dope no more. God, I hated that shit. Good. <laughs> Yeah, I, because the reason why it's just so phony. I don't. I don't. It ain't. It ain't what's really real. Other side is real. Somebody dies. You try to figure out what happened. Give the family some sense that you give a fuck. That's it. But uh, yeah, Cleveland Avenue is off the chain right now. And all the young boys sit up there on videos, making videos all over the trap. They all over YouTube with everything. Every time we need somebody, you know what we do is we go to YouTube. All right, what the little motherfucker name? Okay, so Instagram, YouTube, all that shit. Not YouTube, but uh, Facebook. Yeah, YouTube. YouTube, they all want to show their pedestals and they want to do this, they want to do that. It's crazy. Unbelievable. Bring the one back. Thank you. Well, I guess the best thing is you didn't rob a little old lady. You know, it wasn't lick for a little old lady leaving church. Some grown joker who, you know, like you say, a bank or a store. There wasn't no bank. It's still a robbery. So I'm investigating it as a robbery where police officers responded. And that's all I'm doing, really.
I gotta make sure the police officers well, are right. Well, it's not because he ain't. He said he ain't. He ain't. He gotta. He gotta come forth. Who's right? the Who? Red got to come forth and say that he was wrong. Yeah. Right. Red told the police. Well, well, we'll leave that. We'll leave that at that. I can't really get into his his statement or whatever he did. I don't know everything about that. So I'm not, not going to speak on nothing I don't know. He just said he was like a beat though. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. He was getting shot at. And when people get shot at, they say shit like, yo, man, I almost lost my life. So, you know, I'm not saying that's what he said, but, you know. Let's get the shit out of the car, yeah. You got a side, now it's fair, I gotta go hear that side. They said Red was robbing y'all, you told me he wasn't. So, you the driver, usually the drivers know more what's going on anybody. I'm just gonna work it up. The only reason I'm in, I don't do robbery shit. I don't, well, I don't do robbery shit. All I do is murder. Only reason I'm in it because the police shot at y'all's car. That's the only reason I'm out there. Because of the police using that kind of force, they gonna call me out to work. And normally, if they hadn't hit nobody, they would let the damn precinct handle it. Because if they just hit the car and didn't hit nobody, I wouldn't even be working it. But because he hit somebody, and see, some y'all probably all would have got charged that night too. Huh? Huh? Because it might be, I'm gonna test those guns, but Big Boy got a bullet in his back, and it ain't, they haven't taken it out yet. So, man, what happened over here? Uh, hey, how you doing? That's just not cool. They're still in court. Yeah, that's all I'm just trying to figure out. Shit, man, I'm trying to see my family, man. I ain't got time for you, man. I ain't got time for you. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's the whole list. You know everything that's going on straight. I appreciate you, you know, doing it. I mean, because, uh... You be straight up. I'm straight businessman when it comes to this shit. I'm all about whatever the truth is. That's it. You got the feet. The only one really got a real family, a real life. Everybody else is living on the end of life. They're not really, they're not really respecting their life. You not respecting your life. We're going to go over to this wall over here. They stand by. They tell us what to do. Watch that door. Yeah, go ahead. That works. Whatever the rules are in here, I don't know. I took him with me. We just got back. I just got from court, man. Oh, I think he already, already heard him in court. I don't know. Did you already go for the judge? He already went to the judge. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, because if something happened to you, then they'll find one of these cells for me. He plans to bring home with her. Yeah, I ain't coming. That's why I stopped drinking and driving. Man. Number three. All right. You know what that is? All right, 
Yeah, this one back here. Which one is number three? Right here. One, two. Hold on, let me get them joints off you, man. Fucking fine, though. That is one of them. Is this one? Which one? She said, yeah, that's cool. Where are you going? Hi, guys. Mr. Williams, number 197, exhibit number 197. Remember that, the Kroger? Oh, God. And then we heard state's exhibit number 176. 176, CA. CA, just now. That was your voice on that recording as well? I heard it. Okay. I'd like to go over one other recording. It's not that long. It's about 10, 11 minutes, 12 minutes. And then I'm going to ask you questions about each of these um, issues. Do you remember a collect call? You remember being taken from the scene to Grady Hospital? This, let, let me repeat this. I apologize. That's a bad question. Do you remember being arrested after fleeing from the police, careening into the wall, running from the police, being struck by the police vehicle? Do you remember that? I don't remember that. Okay, and I'm not telling you remember the date, but by any chance you remember the date, September 11, 2013, when that happened, if you remember. I don't remember that from 2013, sir. Okay. Do you remember from being arrested, you had injuries to your head, your shoulder, your back? I'm not saying there were other injuries, but do you remember that? No, sir. Do you recall from after being arrested, being driven by law enforcement to Grady Hospital, they have a detention. Do you know Grady Hospital has a detention facility with it? No, sir. All right. Do you remember being taken to Grady Hospital that day that we're talking about? No, sir. All right. Do you remember after being discharged from Grady Hospital going to the Fulton County Jail, 901 Rice Street? No, sir. I don't remember. Do you recall while at the hospital, if you recall, speaking with your wife, Miss Courtney Bean? I don't recall. When you get transferred by law enforcement from Grady Hospital to the Fulton County Jail, do you remember making a call to your wife on um, your Honor, I'm going to object to the call to your wife from the hospital. I'm saying the question. Rephrase that, Mr. Steele. 
I was, I was in the jail, but okay. Um, I can't remember the day of the week. So if you remember the day after being arrested at the scene, going to Grady Hospital, making a call to your wife, Miss Courtney, Miss Bean, from the Fulton County Jail. So we'd be on September 12th. 2013. Do you recall that? No, sorry at all. All right. Do you recall in the Fulton County Jail, and you, you've been in the Fulton County Jail in the past, fair to say? I've been in the worst group before. Okay. And you knew, or you know, that um, the jail calls are recorded. Are you familiar with that? No, sir. Are you familiar that when you make a call from the Fulton County Jail, when you've been incarcerated, there or other places, there's a sign right next to the phone that says these calls are being recorded and can be listened to by law enforcement. Are you are you aware of that? Do you remember that? No, sir. Okay. Do you know when you make a collect call as a person um, incarcerated from the Fulton County Jail or any institution, there's an announcement on that call explaining this call is subject to monitoring and being recorded. <laughs> no, sir. Okay. Do you remember at all from the Fulton County Jail speaking with, making a collect call to your wife and then explaining that um, they hung up the phone on me last night? Do you remember that? No, sir. Do you remember um, having a conversation with your wife? They cut off the phones. Um, hell yeah, remember saying that? No, sir. Meaning the night before, no? Do you remember? No, sir. Okay. Do you remember on the same day, September 12th, 2013, explaining to your wife that it's bad in here, I have a big knot on my head, shoulder, skinned up, everything going wrong. No, sir. Do you remember then um, crying um, to your wife on the, or your voice sounding like it's crying? Do you remember that? No, sir. Do you remember um, explaining that this shit is crazy? Remember that? No, sir. Do you remember your wife um, explaining to you that uh, one of your children asked where his daddy was? No, sir. Do you remember um, explaining to your wife that um, you want a bond, but you may not be able to make it? Do you remember that? No, sir. Do you remember going to court um, or explaining that you're going to court at 11 o'clock a.m. that day, which was September 12, 2013? No, sir. Do you remember explaining that you had nothing to do with the crime of shooting Cam. Remember that? No, sir. And um, Cam does not live here anymore. Do you remember that? No, sir. And the Cam um, you're talking about is the one that you shot. Oh, excuse me, you explained on the recorded call that the one that you shot could not identify you. Do you remember saying that? No, sir. And do you remember explaining that you need to know whether the victims are coming to court because that will dictate whether you ask for a trial or not? No, sir. Um, do you remember admitting to shooting these folks on that call? No, sir. And just to be fair, do you remember hearing you explaining that you could have called Chief Meadows? Remember that, hearing that with the jury a few minutes ago on State's Exhibit Number 176? No, sir, I don't even have his number. Okay. Your Honor, I'm going to object because that... Basis. And that... Oh, oh don't, don't say anything, excuse me. What's your basis now? It assumes that's not in evidence. All right, all, right, just, all you need to say, I'll sustain the objection. Okay, it was on the recording. But not at just, the time. Just, I'm sustaining the objection, Mr. Steele. That's fine. Name a little more foundation or withdraw the question whenever you pleasure. Okay. Um, do you remember... Um, showing the jury and speaking with the jury about the fact that you pled guilty under Alford um, to shooting two people, and it's in, may I approach you a second, Your Honor? You may, sir. 
Sorry, Dan Evans. I'm sorry, Mr. Wayne's number one that night. He said, I said, what now? He played to the jurors. The shooting was two people on October 15th, on about October 15th, 2015. Remember discussing that earlier? No, sir. Now, that's the cam and the folks that you were talking about that I asked you earlier. You don't remember that? No, sir. All right. Do you remember explaining that one thing turned into another? And Big Fred wasn't even supposed to be with us. No, sir. Do you remember explaining that? Um, discussing that Big Fred was in the vehicle. No, oh, sir. It's all in the same recorded call. I'm, I'm asking the same questions. Do you remember um, saying 12 looking at his dumb ass? Do you remember saying that on the call? No, sir. Remember saying DK got it in on your side of the car? No, sir. Remember police bullets came close to your head? No, sir. That. Remember saying DK got shot in the leg? I don't recall, sir. Do you remember explaining to your wife during the same call <clears throat> that you're the victim of a robbery and the perpetrator took about $22,000 from you? No, sir. Do you remember um, saying to your wife that you could have given another person's name and walked away? No, sir. Do you remember telling your wife, um, <coughs> excuse me, do you remember your wife explained to you to get the drugs out of your system and you explained that you could clean yourself out? Do you remember that? No, sir. Do you remember discussing bond and trying to save money for bond? No, sir. Do you remember again discussing your court today at 11 o'clock? That day? No, sir. Do you remember explaining that uh, you go to court for a probation revocation on Wednesday, September 18, 2013 on a, some sort of driver's license charge? I don't remember. Do you remember um, talking about uh, moving the ship? I don't remember, sir. Do you remember your wife discussed that the homicide detective came back again last night, which would have been the <clears throat> September 11, 2013. No, sir. Explaining that a bitch, excuse my language, is driving. I don't recall, sir. Uh, where did the white boy come from, your wife is asking you? you remember that? No, sir. Do you remember um, your wife explained that the detective wanted to figure out who was driving, adamant it was a boy? No, sir. Do you remember uh, the driver, she, your wife saying that the driver, she, meaning she could have killed everyone? No, according, sir. According to the detective. Do you remember that um, your wife explained that the detective said that the driver caused all of these problems? No, sir. And that you have no charges on you as of September 11, 2013, because you were a passenger in the vehicle. Remember that? No, sir. Do you remember then um, saying to your wife something to the effect of not quoting you, but they gave us a story to tell? No, sir. Remember then um, saying about your wife and that you love her, and when you get to population, you'll call again? No, sir. And do you remember uh, explaining that these are free calls because you're not yet, um, you're still in the holding area of the Fulton County Jail, not in the regular pods? No, sir. Okay. Your Honor, I'd like to mark and move into evidence um, Mr. Williams number 205, a recorded call between Mr. Bean and Ms. Bean as described by me and Mr. Bean could not remember. I'd like to impeach him. Any, any objection to Williams 205? Um, Your Honor, I know that we serve jail calls. I don't know and have not heard Williams 205 to even know whether it is a complete jail call. So I, until we know that, until it's been authenticated, I would if Mr. Steele wants to let us hear it before he plays it. I don't have a problem with that, but I do until I hear it. So, and make sure that it's the one we serve him. I gave it to the state. I don't know, a week ago? I don't know. I can't remember the days of 
flying by, but it's marked as Mr. Williams number 205 on the um, email and phone drive. Is it the same as it was, yeah. was tendered in discovery? Yeah. Has it been changed or altered in any way? No. Okay. I'm over the objection. I'll just let him play it. Uh, Williams 205 is admitted and maybe published as you see. Can I have Mr. Kokomo help us? He may. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And after Mr. Bean, I'm going to start asking questions about all of these exhibits, okay? Hello, this is a free call from an inmate at Fulton County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. Thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Hey, mate. Redo that, it was inaudible to me. Can we restart that? Are you trying to turn the volume, sir, or what? The volume. I couldn't. I couldn't hear Mr. Higher, higher, better uh, audio staff. Then that's uh, I don't want to say. I'm not. I know what you're dealing with, Mr. Kokomo. Come on now. When you go free, Mr. Steele, here's what happens, right? Or subsidize, I should say. All right, okay. Mr. Kokomo, when are you going to uh, play it, start over again, sir, and play that a little louder, please? Hello, this is a free call from an inmate at Fulton County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. Thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Well, that's good. They ain't gonna be able to find him. Then somebody look what Cam. 
the one you shot. Yeah. But the one I shot ain't the one that identified. No, they just had a pig identified. Oh, this right, that's right. Man, I don't know about that. No, I'm just saying, you know. Yeah. They didn't catch up with me if you can't shit. They don't worry about it, man. I ain't spending no shit. And then your little dad was out there yesterday with that other boy. So he took that thing back in the bar when he got that kid. Uh, what kind of thing? Like, what kind of thing? Dad was over there yesterday. I was over there. Who the hell is that? What's your dad? He looked all over there. He thought I shot a brick. Oh, uh, what do you think? I don't know. I just think he was still over there. I don't think that was going to say that shit, though, but he's real bad. I don't think that was going to say that shit. I don't think that was going to say that shit. I don't think that was going to say that shit. I don't think that was going to say that shit. I don't think that was going to say that shit. I don't think that was going to say that shit. I don't think that was going to say that shit. I don't think that was going to say that shit. I don't think that was going to say that shit. I don't think that was going to say that shit. I don't think that was going to say that shit. I don't think that was going to say that shit. I don't think that was going to say that shit. I don't think that was going to say that shit. I don't think that was going to say that shit. I don't think that was going to say Cool, right? Shoot out of the coat. Yeah, I can't. I just don't know how they ever saw it, man. This shit's dog. Like, I don't know. We just, we just got through a situation, man. Here we go again. Yeah, that shit. I don't understand. I can't. I I ain't getting sleep. I ain't getting sleep. This shit is a poker in my brain, y'all. You know, I didn't ask that talk to you say before. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't, I ain't coming around no more. You know what I'm saying? I don't like the crowd. I don't know. This shit is dumb. Like, I don't know. You got no sprout You got that in your chin like You know these you do stuff like that. I ain't like, where your mind is? Like, I don't know. You don't know what that went, though. You do one thing and then one thing. One thing talking to another, and another thing talking to another, and another shit ain't supposed to be kicking out, man. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Yeah. Big Rail ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us. Big Rail shit ain't supposed to be with us.
I got caught away from the probation violation. Mm. Oh, shit. <coughs> You all tired to talk to somebody else? Nah, I ain't nobody. I ain't got nobody else. Mm. Well, I'll probably sleep. They, I don't know what they did last night. I ain't shit. He, 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 he stayed in the house. Like, damn, he was going to have that damn side bump bump the phone. So he get the key to, to move here. We thought about moving here to head up and get the kind of phone. So he's like, bump bump, he don't try to bump bump that damn devil. I'm trying to break the egg and all the lip on some shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know how they shoot that. And we back to that side talk. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't but the detective came back though, man. The whole side the detective kept coming back. He came, we were there one time. He came back again, man. Like, what? Uh, they still trying to figure out what the fuck state going in. If this nigga right there, they don't know. <laughs> they, they, I don't know what the fuck. I said they trying to figure out where all uh, the white boys came from. The white boys from they down here. Please, Mr. Williams, number 205. I might have said 105 earlier. Um, Mr. Bean, were you able to identify your voice on that call? I'm here, but I still don't recall the conversation. Um, is that also your wife's voice? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Did you hear, um, you did say that is your voice or you, you don't recall? I said I hear, but I don't still recall the conversation. How long has that been? 11 years, almost 11 years. Right. Um, did you hear 
Your wife said you want me to call anybody. Did you hear that? I heard what you played. Okay. And what that is is a three-way call. You familiar with that? Basis. Basis. To testify and not ask them a question. So the form of whatever. I'll sustain the question. That's the form. You were raised. Are you familiar when you are incarcerated in the Fulton County Jail or other place and you're speaking on a recorded line, jail call, collect call, mm -hmm. the person, in this case your wife, can three way in or call in another person to join that call. Are you familiar with that? Yeah, can make a three way. Okay. And your wife asked you if um, you want her to call, if she, you want her to call anyone, and you said, I don't have anyone's number. Did you hear that? I didn't hear that. I don't call that. Okay. Did you hear your wife explain to you what the homicide detective told her the day before on September 11, 2013? To listen to a call that I haven't heard a conversation of in so many years, I can hear what you're saying, but have I heard it? But I still don't recall the conversation. I don't even remember the conversation. I don't even remember nothing back in 2013. Do you remember, according to Mr. Williams, number 205, stating after your wife explained to you that information from the detective, they gave us a story to tell? Do you remember saying that? I don't recall. Okay. Did you hear it? I heard it. Now, I want to go back to um, a recording that's in evidence. It's Mr. Williams number 197 and ask you some questions about that, if I may. 197B, as in Barry Bravo. And the jurors will have these recordings, Mr. Bean, so you can listen to them. If you need to listen to them, though, we have them for you, and I'm going to play parts of it, okay? But if you want to listen to any part of it, just say I need to hear more different areas, okay? On January 22, 2023, you met with me and investigator James Martin in front of your home. Do you remember that? I don't recall, sir. Do you remember Mr. Martin um, saying, should we go in your house? And you opted, which is fine, to go into Mr. Martin's car. Do you remember getting in a car with Mr. Martin and myself? I don't recall, sir. Do you remember sitting, by any chance, in the rear passenger seat towards the center? I was in the front passenger, Mr. Martin, in the driver's seat in front of your home. On January, Sunday, January 22, 2003, uh, 2023. Do you remember? I don't. Do you remember me asking you, um, thanking you for meeting with us, and asking if I could play you two jail recordings from this time that you were in the Fulton County Jail? No, sir. Do you remember me playing for you the jail recording? That is now marked as Mr. Williams number 205, the one the jurors just heard and they could hear it whenever they want during their deliberation. Do you remember me playing that for you? No, sir. Do you remember me asking you about what it meant when you say they gave us a story to tell on that recording that is now marked as Mr. Williams number 205? No, sir. Do, sure. At this point in time, so, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bean, I'll go ahead and let you uh, take take ten minutes, okay? And then we'll see where the day leads us. Don't discuss the testimony with anybody except attorneys in this case. All right, Mr. Bean, you can step off. Ladies and gentlemen, take 10 minutes and then we'll, we'll we'll let you know where we stand for the day. All rise.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Our jury has left us. Mr. Steele and Ms. Um, Love, do you think this might be a stopping point for us today, or what do you think? He hasn't said anything yet. <laughs> um, Your Honor, it's going to be a significant cross-examination from here, so that answers your question. Your okay. Honor. All right. All right, let's take 10 minutes, and then I'll tell you what the order of March will be for the rest of the time, okay? All right, we're in recess for 10 minutes. Everybody back, Sergeant Hamlin? Uh, yes, sir. Everybody's back. All right. Let's go ahead and bring Mr. Bean back in, please. All right. Some of jurors, please. Sir. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. All right, thank you, Sergeant Ingram. All right, um, Mr. Bean, 
I'd like you to report tomorrow morning for um, for nine o'clock, if you wouldn't mind, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, and don't discuss your testimony with anybody except the attorneys in this case. All right. Yes, sir. All right. We'll see you then. All right, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, any ministerial inquiry with me? Okay, all right. Tomorrow morning we're going to start, uh, I'm going to ask y'all to report for 9 a.m. for an anticipated 9.30 start time. And um, unless you have any other inquiry of me, what I'll do is just we'll go through your admin, uh, nightly admonitions. Um, please don't discuss anything you have heard or otherwise uh, gleaned from in the four walls of this courtroom. <coughs> and please... Um, if anybody should approach you about you know, anything we that we covered in this case so far, you need to let myself and Sergeant Ingram know immediately. Leave your notepads in the basket. Um, don't discuss anything as you're coming or going to, uh, tonight or tomorrow. Don't discuss anything with any third parties, uh, your or your loved ones in your household. Uh, and please resist temptation of looking at any news accounts, blogs, or otherwise accounts of this particular trial. As remember, I told you, you can only consider what's lawfully presented within the full walls of this courtroom, or this courtroom, I should say. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, again, I thank you for your undying patience with us. And unless you have anything else of, uh, of me in terms of question, I'll release you for the evening, and we'll see you tomorrow morning for 9 o'clock, all right? Thank you, sir. All right. Okay. Thank you, sir. You're very welcome. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, all rise. Counsel, please be seated. Our jury has left us. Um, does anybody have any inquiry of me? Okay. All right. Anyone from any member of the defense team? All right. Um, then we'll see you all tomorrow morning for nine o'clock with an anticipated nine thirty start time. All right. All right. We're in recess.